Hey, can you give me a new bass drum mallet? Mine is kind of at the end of its rope. Sure, that'll just be 80 bucks. What the fuck? Hi, my name's Case Dreamus. I'm a music educator and composer, and on this channel, we talk about things that help your music program thrive. Mallets are crazy expensive. A bass drum mallet can cost like 80 to to $100. My perspective on this is probably skewed from a lot of percussionists, primarily because being a drum set player, I never wanted to spend money on mallets. I just never saw the point because I knew after college, I was never going to use these ever again. This has happened a few times where I've been at a convention and a director will say, oh, did you see this guy over there? He makes mallets. He started making them out of his garage. Can you believe that? Mallets are just dowel rods and plastic and felt and yarn. They're materials that are around you all the time. And a bass drum mallet is honestly really simple to make and you don't have to have a lot of skill to do it. I don't remember what I paid for them originally, but looking at the prices currently during sort of this pandemic where the wood prices have gone up, it's still less than $6 for a dowel rod. I don't remember what size I got, put them in my hand and go, okay, this is the right size. So I bought one dowel rod, which is a four foot piece, took that home, cut it. I did drill holes on the end of it so I can put some string through it. That way you can hang it on a stand or whatever you need to do with it. In a bass drum mallet, there's a core. A lot of times it's some sort of synthetic material or a big piece of cork. I didn't have a big piece of cork, so I used duct tape, something that's pretty easy to get your hands on. So I wrapped the outside of that with a big thing of duct tape. So then I wanted to wrap that in some felt so that it wasn't so hard when you hit it. Dollar Tree had felt stockings for half the price, so I paid 50 cents for them. I think I used about three of them on a mallet. If you saw the video on the jazz drum set that I converted for my wife's school, there was actually these big strips of felt that were in the bass drum. I took those and wrapped that around the mallet as well. For the first couple layers of felt, I actually Gorilla glued the top and bottom onto the duct tape. I don't think that really needed to happen, but I thought at the time that would be a good idea. It didn't hurt anything, but I don't think you have to do that. The outside of the mallet, I don't even know what the material was. I went to Hobby Lobby and looked for something that matched what I wanted. Most bass drum mallets I see have a really fluffy outside, so that's what I got. I got a one foot by three foot piece, and it only cost me $3. And then I went to sewing. I'm just kidding, I'm terrible at sewing, I have no idea how to do it. So I went to my grandma. My grandma's actually an interior designer and she's done sewing for all sorts of things. And those type of skills are so helpful. There's so much value in asking a band parent or somebody that you know who can help you out with something like this. And honestly, it took her about three seconds to do it. I got to go see my grandma. She sewed up these little kind of pouches with that fabric. Great thing about going to someone who really knows what they're doing is that they can recommend things that you would have never known about. My grandma pulled out all this thread that is intended for upholstering. She thought it would withstand the abuse of being hit over and over again, just like a couch is continuously being sat on. And here we go, look at this. Now I wish I could have cleaned up the bottom a little. I should have trimmed it and it would have looked a lot better. But again, first time for everything. This thing works pretty well. And I'll show it to you in action. Why yes, I do have a concert bass drum in my house. But wait, if you act now, you can make two mallets. Altogether, I spent less than $15 on these pairs of mallets. On two. So instead of $160 for two mallets, I spent 15, less than 15. I've already messed with them quite a bit. They work well, they sound great, nothing wrong with them. I love projects like this because this is definitely something that you can give to a band parent who sews and they could do this really easily for you. One day, the student of my wife's just picked up the bass drum mallet and started walking out of the room. My wife was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Oh, my mom sews, she's gonna sew it up for us. She overheard my wife talk to the percussionist saying that they need to get a new bass drum beater because on its last leg. The very next morning, it was sitting on my wife's desk, completely sewed up. Money isn't everything. I know that your school needs to support you. I know that band boosters need to support you and the PTA, PTO need to support you. I know how it can feel when you just have no money in your program. Remember to look around you and see what you do have access to. There are people who are more than happy to support you in ways that they can support you. They feel excited about helping you make a bass drum mallet. I can't tell you how much I appreciate anybody commenting or sharing this video. Have a great one. Thank you so much. Bye 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 bye.